I'm Christy Ferrante. I'm a chemical engineer and I graduated in May 2009. Now I work for PepsiCo in the Gatorade division. Yeah, as much as every engineering student hates English 101 and 102, they've been really important because it's probably the last time that someone's going to coach you on how to write something that isn't a lab report. And it's very important when you get out into the business, you're not going to be working with all engineers and you're not going to be delivering lab reports to people. So you have to maintain the ability to communicate with people on a one-on-one -on -one level and in layman's terms as well. And there are needs for technical writing, but it's really important to hone your skills for non-technical writing right now while you have a chance and while you have someone helping you. Um, another course that's been super important was calculus. I don't do calculus every day, but you use the concepts behind calculus every day. Uh, without calculus and differential equations, you can't understand fluid flow or airflow. And we've got compressed air and lots of hot fluids running in a lot of different pipes. So it's a concept that if I didn't understand it, I'd really be pretty pretty useless at my job. Definitely the concepts that we learned in CHE 211, which is actually your first real chemical engineering class, have been key. And then heat and mass transfer has been really important. Um, it's a hot fill product, Gatorade, so we need to know about heat exchangers and that's where you start to learn about those. And all of the concepts in um, senior design, which kind of wrap it all together and look at looking a project on a whole and looking at the financial side as well has also been really important. I definitely advise you to use the resources that are available to you early. I didn't start to discover things like career fairs and uh, resume workshops until I was going into my, my senior year. That's really too late. If I had started doing those things early in my sophomore year and even at the end of my freshman year, I would have been able to get a lot better internships, I would have had more interview skills and a better resume and it probably would have been more helpful to me in my career and also when I was starting to find jobs to start my career. Um, that's definitely the thing that I regret the most. So pay attention to what your school has to offer you and what the Career Center has to offer you and go, try to go to those workshops early so that you're the best candidate from the very start. The thing that I think was most beneficial was being involved in my school. Uh, the College of Engineering has so many things that you can do, and especially student orgs. I was a member of three of them, and in being involved in student organizations, you learn leadership skills, time management skills. You also get a group of people who understand you and think like you do and have to go through the same classes that you do. So when things get really hard, it's kind of a support network. Um, I definitely think that that was one of the smartest things I did. It makes you a better candidate when you're applying for jobs, and it helps you get through school and be kind of more balanced coming out at the end of your engineering education. If I could go back and change anything, I think I would have gotten an internship the summer after sophomore year. Uh, since you're still an underclassman, they don't tend to pay you well, so I decided to get a job that wasn't engineering related and make a little more money. I really regret that decision because that early experience would have been really helpful. Um, even, even though it would have been less money for the amount of work that I was doing, I definitely think that it would have helped me get better internships later and it would have helped me get a job. Um, I was lucky and I found a job, but it just would have been really beneficial to have had some workplace experience before then. One of the biggest things that I taught, that was taught in my engineering classes was working in teams. You start in your 100 class and they have you do team projects and you build from there. I can't think of any core class that I didn't have at least some kind of group work in. Um, every project that I'm working on at work right now involves working in teams and multidisciplinary teams. I'm not working with other chemical engineers and sometimes I'm not even working with other engineers. So if you don't know when you get out of school how to be effective as a team member, um, you're, it would be a struggle for me to do my job for sure. Uh, PepsiCo is such a big company and it has such a variety of products that I'm not really sure where I'm going to be, but probably in a good way. Um, there's a lot of different options available to, me, available to me. I think I'd like to stay in Gatorade. It's fascinating and it's an interesting process. Um, I see myself as being a process improvement engineer or maybe an engineer that works on innovation projects. We're the largest plant in the nation and um, so a lot of the new projects come out to us.